So last month, um, February, uh, wife and I were um, going to take a little uh, little vacation. Her and I haven't been away in a while. Usually all our vacations are with the kids and stuff like that. So uh, we had planned on going to uh, Maine for, um, you know, four days. But, uh, you know, with all these stupid fucking travel restrictions right now, I mean, I'm reading about, you know, flying in and out of the airport and forms and all this shit. You know what? I'm like, I can't do it. So uh, we decided to go to some place that was a little less restrictive, and we're just looking for anything at this point. So, uh, you know, w w what's the easiest flight from uh, South Florida, where we are, uh, anywhere? Quick flight, we could jump out of the airport and drive an hour and just be somewhere for four days, you know? So um, we found this little town. Hey, this is really close to, uh, where did we fly in? I think it was Charlotte. So, hey, hour away, look at this pretty little town. It's Hickory. North Carolina. So it's like, hey, let's check this out. And um, so we, uh, you know, we get there and we start doing our normal thing. We, we check in at this little, uh, nice little loft, uh, little loft uh, apartment thing, like right in the little downtown area of uh, Hickory. Now, when I say downtown Hickory, we're talking about like a, like a one street intersection thing, but really cool. Um, you know, kind of, you know, old, building type architecture, but you know, some cool little restaurants and bars and coffee shops, you know, the kind of stuff that we like. So, you know, our first night there, thank God, you know, we got in at a decent enough time to walk around a little bit. Mind you, we picked the worst fucking time to go. This was last month when there was like this fucking blizzard going through the, the whole north, you know, but uh, you know, we went. Um, despite this uh, weather, so this is a lot colder than we're used to. I mean, I mean, even though I just wore like jeans and whatever, and I didn't bundle up too much, light fucking jacket. That's all I need. But I was, <laughs> like I said, it was colder than I expected. I mean, it was down in the, uh, what was it, like low 20s, mid 20s, upper mid 30s, I don't know. A lot colder than I like. We didn't get any snow though, um, but it was still really nice. Rained a little bit. But uh, good time, you know, we uh, found, uh, like I said, the first night we were there, we found this nice little uh, bar that also sold, um, sold a lot of vegan food, which is cool for us because, you know, we don't eat the animal shit. Uh, and by animal shit, I mean animal products, not actual animal shit. So we, um, you know, we did that, had a couple drinks. Um, next day, walking around again, we find the little local coffee shop, had a good cup of coffee. You know, some fruity duty thing um, with fucking, I don't know what was in it, but it was really tasty. Local, though. Like I said, I like the local places. And, uh, you know, then we're off on, uh, you know, adventuring around. You know, we do our normal stuff. You know, we're always looking for, like, we like walking around, you know, little shops. And, of course, I like the game stores and the thrift stores and all that shit. So, um, this little town actually had two game stores in it. I mean, if you can believe that. So um, we hit this first game store and, uh, you know, like I've said before, I don't mind paying, you know, like uh, your typical game store prices. Um, but this place, I mean, there's a lot of decent stuff in there, a lot of common shit, but everything was way too expensive. It's like, I, 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 there's no way I could have spent any money in there. So, you know, we left that place and um, ended up finding a, uh, another game store. And this place um, had, you know, your normal prices you can expect. And uh, I picked up a handful of um, some more NES games to add to the collection. So let's take a quick look at, uh, at some of these. Um, like I said, more games I've never played before. Um, what's this one here? Spot. The uh, mascot for, um, what is it, 7-Up? 7-Up, right? I think it's 7-Up. Or is it Sprite? I don't even know. But uh, anyway, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be maybe some kind of cool like platformer game where the little spot character is, you know, jumping around doing shit. But no, you know what it is? This is like fucking Othello. You ever play Othello with the little black and the white sided little, you know, checker looking things and I always sucked at that game. I never understood it. But this is how that plays except it's, you know, a little more animated with a little fucking character and like dumb fucking music in between and I couldn't figure it out. You know, the first time I played it, 
I, I got beat within like, you know, by the, playing against a computer opponent, you know. And I got beat within the first, um, you know, I don't know if I could, two minutes. And then I kind of understood what was going on, but I still couldn't beat it. I completely sucked at it. It might actually be a fun game to play if you could uh, actually figure out how to play it. But I didn't want to invest, you know, any time into it because it wasn't that good. So, but um, whatever. Cool game for the collection. Next, Wrath of the Black Manta. I also played this one briefly, and uh, I already forgot what it was about, actually, to be honest with you. I don't even remember. But I think it was fun. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just I'm collecting shit because I like it. All right, this one. <laughs> Platoon. Now, I expected a little bit more out of this. Um, I got completely frustrated. I, I don't even think I, 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 well, I know I did. I, I couldn't even get out of the first level. You start off like in this fucking sideways jungle thing. And at first you don't even realize what you're supposed to do. But like in between like these rows of bushes, you can actually go up or down. And it's kind of like some kind of weird, I guess, maze you're walking up and down through. But I couldn't get out of it. I, I couldn't figure out what to do. And you got these weird guys like jumping out of the bushes and there's trip wires and completely fucking ridiculous. I, I lost interest in it. Um, I'm kind of curious though what else there is besides that very first level I saw so um, Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play this one again or not What else did we get there? I got two more games there this one right here this one I bought because I thought the label looked really cool um, to the earth so I can't really show you any footage on this because uh this thing takes a fucking light gun. Yeah, I didn't know it took a light gun. So we can look at the intro. You know, the, the intro looks kind of cool. But um, I looked at some footage on this, and it kind of looked like, I looked briefly at it, um, it looks like it might be like spaceships and shit flying at you, and you're like shooting them with a light gun, which actually makes no sense, because why would you be like in outer space in a spacesuit with a fucking gun shooting spaceships flying at you? But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, use a little imagination. It might be fun. So I think, though, now I, have, I, don't, have, I don't have a, um, a CRT television. I'm gonna have to go to the thrift store and buy some cheap $10 fucking TV just so I can play all these light fucking games that I got because, I mean, what am I gonna do? I, I gotta play some of this light gun shit. So, we'll work on that. And what this one here. Low G Man. Now this one I bought because I thought the name sounded cool, you know? <laughs> um, this is really weird, man. Um, I kinda liked it. Um, I didn't get very far in it, you know, you're it's got a weird attack method where you gotta like jump on people like straight down to like kill them and shit and your your first weapon you like freeze people and then you don't have to freeze them first but you do have to like jump on them and kill them downward um it's really weird it looks like it might be fun though so you know we might look at this one again another time so that was all from the one store and uh pretty good you know those games are all just a few bucks a piece or so and um, we ended up finding um, another antique mall. Uh, we, actually, we actually went to a couple antique malls. The first one um, was a normal sized one, like a little strip mall, nice little place. Um, there was one booth in the back that had piles and piles and piles of comic books, but I, I just didn't have it in me to go through any of them because, you know, I used to collect comic books. And I got like 10 fucking like half boxes of them at least in here. And I, I just can't get into the comics again. It'll probably drive me nuts. And I mean, I never really read the read the fucking things anyway. I used to buy them for the cover art because I like the artwork. I used to flip through them. I never read the things. I just collected them. You know, there's just something about collecting like a new series, you know, one, two, and so forth. Because um, back when I used to collect was, uh, God, it had to be, um, what, 
mid 90s early 2000s i was collecting a lot of the independent stuff like image and, and shit like that like all the spawn stuff and you know all those kind of things so i do got a pretty sizable comic book collection from i want to say mid 90s to early 2000s when i was into that uh, that's a whole nother uh, topic of discussion though comic books i haven't really got back into that so that that thrift store or uh, antique mall was kind of a bust um, but we did find, um, you know, throughout our travels, we found a, uh, another huge ass antique mall. And I mean, I've never seen anything this big in my life. Now this thing was like in a, um, a warehouse, you know, like, like a whole huge warehouse fucking thing of probably like, like maybe 10 fucking bays. And this is the type where like, you know, you go through like archway after archway and building through building like of course all on the inside here So it looks like you know some guy with a fucking sledgehammer is knocking holes through walls Oh, we need more space, you know, he's fucking knocking holes through walls making it bigger and bigger and bigger So we walk through this whole fucking thing I mean this thing was the biggest place I'd ever seen and out of that whole fucking place I actually find for like the first time ever at a place like that. I actually find a cartridge based game And I was like so excited You See that? What is this here? Spider-Man versus X-Men, Sega Genesis. I don't even think it's versus. It just says Spider-Man, X-Men. So, um, yeah, this was pretty cool. I mean, um, it started off. I didn't play it too long. It's just, you know, Spider-Man jumping around, you know, web slinging, doing Spider-Man shit, you know, whatever Spider-Man does. And um, this one, I'm definitely going to have to, you know, keep playing, though. Um, it looked like a lot of fun. I was just excited as shit to actually find a cartridge. Because most of the time at these antique malls, actually in the same antique mall, I found uh, one booth had a whole pile of um, Atari uh, 2600 games. And I've been trying to collect those, but this fucking people are out of their mind. Every cartridge had a $10 sticker on it. If you're paying $10 for fucking combat, you're out of your mind. And the guy had a $10 sticker on combat, like the most common game in the fucking world for Atari 2600. And I mean, obviously no thought was given to this. There's a $10 sticker on every fucking game. Nobody's buying this shit. I don't even know why it's there. Um, but you know, I still like to see it. I like to find it. Um, didn't buy nothing except uh, this, you know, but I was happy. Now, we also found this other place, too, that was a, uh, a Habitat for Humanity store. The only reason we went there is because it was a combination Habitat for Humanity, and uh, within that store was a separate store that was a bookstore and coffee shop. Oh, hey, this is cool as shit. You know, my wife and I both love, uh, like, books. You know, we like looking for old books, cool books, any kind of fucking book. Um, and so, cool, we'll go look at the books. We'll get a cup of coffee, walk around, do that kind of thing. And um, they actually had a small little section of, um, of games, which was cool as shit. Now, the only one I picked up, and this is the first time I've ever seen um, a Nintendo 64 cartridge um, at a place like that. So what did we get here? We got Shadow Man. Now, i never seen it, never heard of it. Um, pretty cool fucking game. This main character, though, kind of funny. His name is Mike my name you all know that but uh i mean he's really fucking freaky looking in the game you know what i like the game it has really weird controls though it's like you have to look the direction that you're gonna go and then move like the camera moves with you um it's just a weird fucking game um the controls was killing it for me i just didn't like them but uh you know i played it for about i don't know Maybe 15 minutes or so. Got through a couple, couple of the little maps. I don't know. And then when I got to these weird, fucking freaky uh, characters, and they're like screaming and moaning when you fucking kill them. I mean, it was fucking awesome. Uh, it made me like the game even more. Um, but like I said, if I if I can't get past the, the controls, the way they feel, I don't know if I can finish the game. Um, I liked playing it, but um, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna carry on with that. Might not. So, um, yeah, that was it. You know, picked up how many games out of that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games out of that trip. You know, that ain't bad. It's another seven games to add to the collection. Um, you know, like I said, I'm collecting, I'll collect anything. I like playing them. Some of them I'm going to finish. Some of them I'm not. Well, finish, take that with a grain of salt. I might play them a little bit longer. I might not actually complete them. A lot of these games, they just don't, they don't hold my attention like they used to. You know, that's why I like to mix in a little bit of the uh, modern gaming. But uh, 
I got to be honest with you, you know, they're too, most of them are too fucking hard for me. You know, growing up playing games with only two fucking buttons and now trying to play some of this more complicated shit. Now, I did play a lot of PC games growing up and I always had a really easy time handling, you know, keyboard and mouse games. So, you know, I do download and play a lot of games on the PC. You know, maybe one day we'll, uh, we'll take a look at some of that kind of stuff too, if, yeah, if anybody wants. Um, like I said in another video, I was playing, I've been playing a lot of uh, American Truck Simulator. I like that. And of course, Minecraft. I mean, I think everybody kind of got to love Minecraft. I love playing that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, just uh, another handful of games for the shelf. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.